Matheson is a fascinating new documentary about the healing powers of a sacred plant from the Amazon. It chronicles actress Annalyn McCord and former NFL star Carrie Rhodes as they go on a journey of personal discovery. You know, I, I've suffered with anxiety, depression uh, throughout my life, suicidal thoughts and attempts, and I've gone through a lot of dark periods, and I know that those might come up. I go back to my community, the NFL, because we have so many people that, that are affected, and the league doesn't care. Wow, this is so interesting. Um, you guys, you've been on TV before, but it's got to be kind of different playing yourself, right? And yeah. talking about yeah. your personal journey. And Carrie, you were just saying it was from a career in the NFL. You, yeah. What were you looking for? Yeah, for me, I mean, the I got introduced to the medicine uh, by two producer friends of mine. And uh, I, when they first brought it up, I was a little skeptical, just like a lot of people are. I mean, I'm like, I, for me personally, I had never put any foreign substance in my body. So for me to go to this Amazonian place uh, that I had no idea what yeah. was going on and to, to take this drink of life and and try to progress in the way I wanted to. It was, it was, diff it was difficult. So um, I just kind of jumped into it and started doing research and saw that it had regenerative properties for the brain. And for me, with the concussions and CTE stuff, mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was intriguing in that way. And so, I mean, so much other things came from it, but that right. was the original thing. Were you showing symptoms or you were a preventative? Measure? Just preventative. Right. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, they did the study a few years ago and it was 110 out of 111 brains had CTE. So, I mean, yeah. obviously, I mean, am I that special? I'm that 1%? Eh, maybe, Good. but maybe yeah. not. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and Annalyn, you were saying you were trying to overcome trauma in your life. I I had these blocked out memories for 30 years and, and they were- From sexual assault you're talking about? Yeah. Childhood sexual abuse, yeah. And, uh, and it was literally on my list of 10 intentions that I went into the ceremony with, which they tell you to do. Yeah. It was the last one, and 13 months to the date after we went to Costa Rica and did ayahuasca, this, my memories came back, and yeah. it was the last intention. Everything else had come, had already happened. Wait, well. say the name of the, the stuff again. What is it called? Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. <laughs> yeah. So what, what is it? Is it like a liquid? Is it a gel? Like, what no. is it? <laughs> it's, well, we were just talking. It's mm. kind of like, it's a very thick, sap-like consistency. It's made of two vines, the DMT, branch and the um, MAOI, which is a monamine oxidase inhibitor. So right. we have DMT in our bodies. It's in plants. It's in pretty much every yeah. organism in the world. But when we experience it in the body, it's just this like kind of, they call it like the spirit molecule. It's this amazing, you know, connection to art or connection when you yeah. feel something like burst, but it goes away quickly. The MAOI allows it to stay in it's the bloodstream for like, what, five hours? Yeah. Is it immediately, like, your thoughts open? Is it a process? Does it take, a, like, a few days or some weeks? or? It's different. It's a process. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a process. It's a process. It, is a, it is a process, yeah. <laughs> it was like I was being told there's no such thing as our world and humanity and the mm -hmm. planet. I felt so alone and, like, dark and, like, yeah. the, the literally the worst. I've been suicidal in my life. Like, the worst despair and all this intensity and... And my sister popped into my mind, my older sister, Angel, and I was like, Angel is a real person, and I am her sister. That means I'm a real person, and I live on a real place called Earth. And, like, yeah. this was how I pieced it back together. And six months later, I would look back on my life, and I realized my entire life for 30 years, mm -hmm. every time I had been dark or depressed or suicidal, I never reached out. I never talked to anybody. I held it all in. Yeah. And I, I'm so sorry. Um... I'm sorry, I didn't expect to get all that. It was a, it was, it's, an, it's a deep experience. For six yeah. months, for six months, after I looked back and I realized every time I had felt down at all after, I had called a friend or I had, I didn't call and talk about, oh, look at my terrible life, but, yeah. but I had got myself out by talking to someone and reaching out and it was like, really life-changing in so many ways. You're a favorite superwoman of ours here in California Live, of course, <laughs> and you're part of a panel Yes. Right? It's called Do-Gooders in Entertainment. Yes. We've got yes. to talk about that. Yes. So um, Wednesday, September 25th, 6 to 8 p.m. at the Pacific Design Center, we are doing a super fun panel. We're actually Cassie Skirbo, actress, a friend of mine who runs Buddha Bowling, will be talking about her organization. I'll be able to educate on what we're doing with hum fighting human trafficking and also do a huge Q&A for like an hour where people can ask questions and see how they can get involved. Awesome. And it's badass do-gooders. I had to badass add it. It's do badass do-gooders. <laughs>
better. Yes. Well, thank you, Anna Lynn. Thank you, Carrie, for being here. No and thank you for sharing your journey. And we have to look out for the medicine, it's called, right? The medicine, yes. Medicine, yes. yes. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You guys watch it. <laughs>